Well, you know, to me, it really does come down to if you know what you're trying to accomplish and you're prepared to put the work in to pull that off, then if you believe that you can do anything you set your mind to, how you spend your time becomes a spiritual consideration. So I have a compelling future. There's something that I'm working towards. I have a belief that I can actually become that person. And because of that belief, I know that, all right, once I've identified what I want, I simply have to work backwards and figure out what is the gap in skill set and then go out and get it. And why do most people not do that? I, I think it comes down to a couple things. One, they don't actually believe that they can do it. So they have a fixed mindset. They mm -hmm. believe that their talent and intelligence are fixed. They were born with it. It just is what it is. Mm -hmm. And because I think people confuse like, hey, there are certain things in my life that I get early wins. So those are my genetic gifts. And mm -hmm. then there's things that are really hard for me. And therefore, I'm just not good at that. Mm -hmm. And if they would just add the word yet, like yeah. I'm just not good mm -hmm. at that yet. Like, so right. I'll give you an example. I'm really bad at um, genetically, I have a very hard time losing fat. Okay. Mm -hmm. I have what they call thrifty genes. So mm -hmm. whether it's an epigenetic result of how my mother was eating, um, when I was in utero, I have no idea. Mm -hmm. It's probably genes and epigenetics combined. So for me to put on fat is, is very, very easy. Now wow. from an evolutionary perspective, that's not necessarily a bad thing. Mm -hmm. It means that I'm going to survive a famine, right? So I need very little calories to have an abundance of what I need, which mm -hmm. then is stored as adipose tissue. And, but aesthetically, <laughs> that's not great. And it's really <laughs> not great when you can get a bag of chips or ice cream around the corner every day. And that's yeah. tastes good. It's amazing. Um, <laughs> so it's a bit of a bummer, but yeah. that doesn't mean I can't get lean. It just means maybe much harder for me than somebody else. But once you remove the, like, I'm not going to waste time worrying about whether it's fair. I'm just going to accept that it is, and I'm going to act accordingly. So if getting lean is important enough to me, I will overcome those obstacles. I will not spend time whining about it. So all of those like mental constructs yeah. are why I push through and do the things that are important to me. And uh, to me, it's just, I understand the fundamental nature of the human condition. Yeah.